Many years before there was a space program, my father had a favorite quotation. He who would bring back the wealth of the Indies must take the wealth of the Indies with him. This we have done. We have taken to the moon the wealth of this nation, the vision of its political we leaders, choose to go to the, moon. the intelligence of its scientists, the dedication of its engineers, the careful craftsmanship of its workers, and the enthusiastic support of its people. We have brought back rocks. And <laughs> and I think it's a fair trade. To our, <laughs> for just as the Rosetta Stone revealed the language of ancient Egypt, so may these rocks unlock the mystery of the origin of the moon, of our Earth, and even of our solar system. During the flight of Apollo 11 in the constant sunlight between the Earth and the Moon, it was necessary for us to control the temperature of our spacecraft by a slow rotation, not unlike that of a chicken on a barbecue spit. As, as we turned, the Earth and the Moon alternately appeared in our windows. We had our choice. We could look toward the Moon, toward Mars, toward our future in space, toward the New Indies, or we could look back toward the Earth, our home, with the problem spawned over more than a millennium of human occupancy. We looked both ways. We saw both. And I think that's what our nation must do. We can... <laughs> we can ignore neither the wealth of the Indies nor the realities of the immediate needs of our cities, our citizens, or our civics. We cannot launch our planetary probes from a springboard of poverty, discrimination, or unrest. But neither can we wait until each and every terrestrial problem has been solved. Such logic 200 years ago would have prevented expansion westward past the Appalachian Mountains, for assuredly the eastern seaboard was beset by problems of great urgency then, as it is today. Man has always gone where he has been able to go. It's that simple. He will continue pushing back his frontier, no matter how far it may carry him from his homeland. Someday in the not too distant future, when I listen to an Earthling step out onto the surface of Mars or some other planet, just as I listen to Neil step out onto the surface of the moon, I hope I hear him say, I come from the United States of America.